Good morning, I'm Howard Monroe with your morning news brief for this Sunday, August 11th. There are many frustrated American Airlines passengers at Philadelphia International Airport. Some say they've yet to receive their luggage from a flight that arrived from Seattle last night. They say they first got an announcement that there weren't enough workers to be able to land the plane, forcing them to taxi for an hour. Then they waited hours for their checked bags, only for them to never show up. The airline offered to ship some of the bags, but only if they lived within 150 miles. We counted over 100 bags that were left at the baggage pickup office at the airport. Some residents are still trying to get their lives back to normal after remnants of Hurricane Debbie hit Chester County. People on the first floor of the Avondale apartments were forced to evacuate after a nearby creek poured into its apartments. Residents say that this is the second time their apartments were flooded in just four years. The shelter housing displaced residents has since closed. We're told that those who remain displaced will move to a hotel, but it's unclear for how long. At new this morning, seven people are facing charges after an illegal car meet in northeast Philadelphia. Officials say dozens of cars gathered in Taconi last night near the intersection of Torresdale and Adams Avenues. Those drivers were reportedly doing donuts and other dangerous stunts in the streets. Several cars were seized by police, including one that hit a police cruiser while trying to leave the scene. Philadelphia police say that the city has a plan to crack down on this type of activity. The suspects are facing charges ranging from disorderly conduct to felony assault on an officer. Now let's get a check of your next weather forecast with meteorologist Tammy Sousa. Hey, Tammy. Well, hello there, Howard. It's going to be another pleasant day. We have to get rid of the clouds, though, first. Morning clouds will give way to afternoon sunshine. It'll be a little cooler than average, not cold. We're going to be in the low 80s rather than the mid and upper 80s. And we're going to have a clear and comfortable night out there. It is going to be pleasant. Great. For stargazing. We have low pressure that's moved by to the south of us, brought a few showers along the Jersey Shore early this morning, but that's about it. And we have high pressure that is waiting to the west of us to build in and bring us that sunshine. In between, we have just this little disturbance, this little trough, and it's creating enough lift to bring in these clouds through the morning hour. But by this afternoon, things should clear out nicely. We'll have mostly sunny skies overnight, mostly clear skies. We roll into our Monday. We start with sunshine, a few clouds down the shore, and then we end up with some fair weather clouds. The models want to bring in some sprinkles. It's iffy at best because it is so dry. Our atmosphere is so dry. Uh, we do the same thing on Tuesday. We start the day with sunshine and a few clouds down the shore and then some fair weather clouds wrapping around in the area. So your high for today is going to be 83 degrees. Tomorrow you'll have 83 as well. We're looking at 84 on Tuesday, 80s to round out the week and the next best chance of rain, Howard comes in here next Saturday. All right, Tammy, thank you very much. Remember, you can always get the latest news and weather right here at CBSPhiladelphia.com. I'm Howard Monroe. Have a great day.